Case. Example four, five, and six. Okay, so here's our picture. If you uh, offer some, if you offer some uh, insight, please speak loudly because the camera is on. There's really no more, no more crazy giggles. We don't want people to think we're having fun in here. What up, camera? There you go. They want to say what up, YouTube versus what up, oh, camera? What up, YouTube? There you go. Smooth radio voice, Julian Bean, right there. All right, so example four. Grab a picture above and draw a distribution of charge. There's a positive charge rod is brought near inside the electric So to start out, what do we have? On this electric scope, what do we have? Electrons and protons. Do we have an equal number? Do we have more or less than one or the other? Equal. Equal number. So those pro those protons and electrons, they are evenly distributed throughout the electroscope. Right, they spread out evenly because the protons don't like the protons, the electrons don't like the electrons. Right? So when this positive rod is brought to the electroscope, what happens? Do all the positives run away? No, no why not? They can't move. They can't move. So what happens? All the electrons move. All the electrons move because electrons are allowed to move. Where do electrons go? Up or down. Up, up to the top, right? So the, the positive the positive charge that we had all stay where they at. But the negative, okay, one, two, three, four, five, I had five negatives. The negative charges all try to get as close to the top as they can. Right? Now since this rod is touching the electri the electroscope, that one is just brought near. This one is touching the electroscope. So then what do these negative charges do? They jump. They jump. Okay? These negative charges will start collecting on the, elect on, on the charged object because they are attracted. Okay. But not all of them will go because this charged object is an insulator, meaning it doesn't let the electrons move. So they kind of all get stuck on the front end of the charged object. So then the other electrons, the other electrons, they get close, but they still see these, these electrons over here, so they don't, they don't all jump on. Some will stay. Right, does that make sense, guys? So then when this charge rod is then taken away, how many positive charges do I have? One, two, three, four, five. five. How many negative charges do I have? Two. Two, right? So I have five positive charges. And how many negative charges? Two. two. Those two negative charges, they still don't like each other, so they'll evenly distribute over the whole electroscope. Okay. So this electroscope is now positively charged, which is why the leaves stay out, stay, stay pushing away from each other, stay white. All right, does that make sense, guys? Yes. Okay. Second one, how will the leaves behave if a negatively charged rod were used instead? So instead of using this positive rod here, I use the negative rod, right? Would we lose negatives in that case or gain negatives? We gain negatives. So instead of losing three negatives, we might gain three or four negatives, and then those negative charges would evenly distribute and still have the same result. The leaves would still be pressed out. Okay? We'd have negatives all over the place, evenly distributed around the five protons, to the five positives. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yeah, any questions? Okay, last one. What would happen to the leaves of the electroscope in the third picture? So just in the far right picture, all right, if a negatively charged rod were brought near it, how about a neutral or positively charged rod? So let's think about a negatively charged rod. If I bring a negatively charged rod near this electroscope, what's going to happen? It will gain electrons. I'm not touching it. Just bring it near, so like this. Electrons will move. Which electrons? Which electrons? The ones in the rod or the ones in the electroscope? The ones in the electroscope. Good. The ones in the electroscope. So this negative, this negative charge will go where? Uh, down. down, right? What will happen is both charges will go down to the leaves, giving the leaves a neutral or a more neutral charge. So the leaves will do what? Will they stay wide? Nope. Good. They'll, they'll, move, they'll move in towards each other. Because by bringing a negatively charged rod close to this electroscope, this electron moves away, so these two electrons will probably evenly distribute onto the leaves, decreasing the overall charge of the leaves. 
It might not make him go all the way back to normal, but it might, depending on what the, what the overall charge is to start. Other one. What if I bring a neutral rod? If I bring a neutral rod. No charge. Okay. The leaves will stay the same. <coughs> Excuse me. They might, they might deflect a little bit closer to the middle, depending on. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna that. They might get a little wider, depending on how close to bring the rod. Okay. The electrons might be attracted to positive charges in the rod. Okay. But probably nothing. Probably nothing will happen. Nothing noticeable. What if I bring a positively charged rod near, near this one? What's going to happen to these electrons? They'll all move up, right? Right? They'll all move up because this electron down here will be attracted to the positive rod. So if the electron moves up, what happens to the overall charge down here? Do you get more positive or less positive? It gets more positive, right? So what happens to the leaves? They move apart more, okay? Because now those protons are not being distracted by the electron. They all they see is the other protons, right? So they'll push it. They'll push apart from each other more. All right? Does that make sense, guys? <clears throat> are there any questions? Any questions?